Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a decimal to BCD priority encoder. In previous videos, I have explained about a decimal to BCD encoder we have seen in the earlier videos. Decimal to BCD encoder. There we have not concentrated on the priority based. Okay, we have taken whichever is the high, uh, whichever is the uh, highlighted one activated. The corresponding BCD number is going to be generated. But now it is a decimal to BCD priority encoder. So decimal number. Decimal numbers are nothing but here we are taking the decimal numbers. <coughs> 0, 1, 2 and so on. But here BCD, BCD means the maximum number is 9. BCD means the maximum number is 9. That's why decimal varies from 0 to 9. Decimal number varies from 0 to 9. Okay. So decimal numbers we are taking on the left hand side of the truth table and on the right hand side we are having the BCD numbers which are represented in its binary format. Which are represented in its binary format. Okay, what do you mean by a priority encoder? What is the difference between normal encoder and priority encoder? Operation wise both are different but here whenever we are suppose in the decimal to binary BCD priority encoder here we are having total 10 number of inputs. Total 10 inputs like D0, D1, D2 and so on up to d9 we are having the inputs so d0 to d9 is nothing but total 10 decimal numbers and we are having the output which are only 4 bit output like b3 b2 b1 b0 okay so what do you mean by if d0 is let us consider the case where d1 is activated and remaining all are deactivated Okay, as D1 is activated alone, D1 is nothing but 1. So, 1 is like this 0, 1. So, 0001. This is its corresponding BCD number. And similarly, somewhere D7 is activated. D7 is activated and all other are zeros. So, as only D7 is activated, the corresponding binary number will be coming in the output. Okay. This is normal encoder, but when you we uh, when we go to priority encoder, when we go to priority encoder, let us consider D6, D7, both are ones, and remaining all are zeros. Okay, so on the left hand side of the D6, all are zeros, and then and on the right hand side of the D7, all are zeros. D6 and D7 both are activated. When both are activated, as it is a priority encoder. As it is a priority encoder, which is having the highest number, D7 is the highest number. So, D7 will be taken with the output and the remaining numbers are zeros. It is D7, right? Remaining numbers are, will not be considered. Suppose if I am having D0 is 1, D1 is 1 and all are zeros, again D9 is 1. Again, D9 is 1. So, as D9 is the highest number, that we will consider as output and remaining all are deactivated. <clears throat> okay. That means, decimal to BCD priority encoder gives the output a corresponding binary format of the decimal number which is activated based upon the priority. Priority always is in the maximum to minimum. Okay, which is the maximum decimal number that will be taking care that will be taken the first taken as the first priority and the remaining numbers are in the descending order. So let us take the truth table of this same truth table of this decimal to BCD priority encoder. So as I said, I have D0, D1, D2, D3, D4 d5 d6 d7 d8 and d9 so the bcd numbers let us consider the bcd numbers as b3 b2 b1 b0 these are the bcd numbers and these are decimal numbers Okay, so now 
initially let us consider all are zeros all are zeros okay all are zeros uh, see this is there are actually two types of um, functions are there two types of truth tables we can design or two types of integrated circuits are there that means it may be active low or active high active low means all should be considered as zeros active high means all should be considered as ones so one is nothing but active high zero is nothing but active low okay uh, okay in this i am taking active high only so d not to d9 all are zeros that means there is no output activated because all are zeros now consider d not Uh, consider d naught is activated d naught is activated and all other are deactivated zeros okay then what is the output as d naught is alone activated so the output is triple zero one and next one one and remaining all are zeros remaining all are zeros what do you mean by this one here d not d1 both are activated but which is having the highest priority d1 so d1 will be the output so 0 0 uh, it is 0 i think it is 0 0 0 0 1 next 1 1 1 here d2 is activated and all are zeros d not d1 d2 three decimal numbers are activated but which is having the highest priority d2 so that's why d2 will be the output the second corresponding binary number and similarly when all other d3 onwards d3 d2 d1 d0 are activated then d3 will be the output 0 0 1 1 <coughs> Four, five, six, seven. 8 9 means here it is 1 okay we'll draw in the next line d not d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 0 so corresponding number is 1 triple 0 d not d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 and d9 as d9 is activated in the higher order it is 9. So what is the difference between this table and normal encoder table? In the normal encoder table, at a time, only one number is activated. Okay. Uh, suppose 1, all zeros we have taken. In the next line, we will take 0, 1, all zeros. 0, 0, 1, all zeros. Like that, we have considered there in the case of a B, decimal to BCD number decimal to bcd encoder but whereas in the decimal to bcd priority encoder we are giving the uh, priority for the remaining numbers also okay along with the higher order we are taking the other numbers which are uh, lower order numbers also considered but as it is having the highest priority that will be considered in the output remaining are simply discarded okay and now what is the expression for b3 b2 b1 b0 b3 when it is activated so b3 is activated only in two cases only in two cases 8 and 9 cases b3 is activated only in two cases that means the last two cases 8 and 9 cases whereas b2 is activated in 4 5 6 7 cases b2 is activated in 
4, 5, 6 and 7. And similarly, B1 is activated in 2, 3, 6, 7, 2, 3, 6, 7 cases. Okay, I will write here. B3 is activated per 8 and D8 and D9 decimal numbers, decimal numbers. Therefore, B3 is equal to D8 plus D9 and similarly, B2 is activated B2 is activated at D4 D5 D6 and D7 number decimal numbers D7 decimal numbers therefore B2 is equal to D4 plus D5 plus D6 plus D7 and similarly, B1 is activated at 2, 3, 6, 7. B1 is activated at D2, D3, D6 and D7. Therefore, B1 is equal to D2 plus D3 plus D6 plus D7. And finally, B0 is activated B0 is activated at D1 D3, D5, <coughs> D7 and D9 places, decimal numbers, D9 decimal numbers. Therefore, B0 is equal to D1 plus D3 plus D5 plus D7 plus D9 is also there, D9. This is D9. Okay. So, these are the output equation, output expressions for the BCD numbers, which is from the decimal input. Okay. Thank you.